Hey friend, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I take photos of them, I list them on eBay and Poshmark and hopefully sell them for a profit. Uh, today is Wednesday, February 7th, so these are items that sold yesterday. Um, on Monday I had zero sales, uh, and yesterday I woke up to three kind of lowish offers and I took them. <laughs> and then I had no sales the rest of the day. And then I had one offer early this morning. That was a decent offer. None of these are high, super exciting things. A couple of them did sell quickly. Um, so first are, these are uh, Henley t-shirts. So there's two of them. One's burgundy like this, one's green. They are J. Crew. They're extra small. <laughs> um, so I found two of these right next to each other at a thrift store. And at first I wasn't gonna buy them. And then I found out that the thrift store was actually having a bag sale unexpectedly, like I didn't know. And I was like, eh, well, if it's a bag sale, it's gonna be cheap. So I grabbed those. My um, Average cost of goods was 79 cents. So I treated them as one item when I averaged my cost. Um, so the J. Crew Henley t-shirt has an average sale price of $12 and 54 cents. So that's not super high. That sale through rate is 28%. So based on the fact that not a high sell through rate, not a, well, the sell through rate was decent. Um, I, sh I shoot for about 25%, but not a high average sale price, not a, the <laughs> extra small, uh, not a great like size really for the item. And then, uh, the green one actually ended up having a flaw that I hadn't noticed in, in the store which is a theme with me, but whatever. <laughs> um, so anyway, I listed them together. Like I said, I got some kind of lower offers. I think I had listed them for like 25. Somebody sent me an offer for 15. I needed some sales, so I took it. Uh, and actually, I'm pretty pleased with that. 79 cents into $15 is not bad. They really sold within about uh, six weeks and my profit's $13. And 48 cents. If you stick around to the end, I will share, um, my total profit for yesterday, which was really kind of should cover two days since I didn't have any sales on Monday. Um, but spoiler alert, I didn't. <laughs> it's just been really slow. I've heard it from a lot of people too. Um, are you having slow sales? I'm not. I'm not really sure what's happening. Is it? Is it me? <laughs> is it? I don't think it's me. Um, because it does seem like it's happening in lots of different places. Uh, for ground advantage, right now I am using recycled poly mailers. I have a ton of them that I have saved up. My sister uh, saves me some. We've had friends save us um, poly mailers and stuff in the past. So these are a pair of jeans. I should make sure they're the right ones. <laughs> these are American Eagle. They're what I like about American Eagle is it tells you what they are on the inside, right right there. So this is favorite boyfriend. So American Eagle favorite boyfriend jeans have an average sale price of $15.54 and a sell through rate of 37%. And these actually sold in five days. They are um, a 16, so you know, a more, I don't know, average, it's not average, I think. I don't know, <clears throat> a bigger size, I guess. Um, it wasn't a zero. <laughs> I have trouble selling zeros. I've sold zeros before, but anyway, um, they sold in five days. I paid 67 cents for them at a uh, Salvation Army rummage sale. So we don't have a Salvation Army store in our town. So the church does a rummage sale quarterly, I think. And it's a, a bag sale usually. So my cost of goods is very low, 67 cents. Uh, that happened in the fall, like I bought them in the fall, uh, but I kept them because I thought that I was going to wear them and I didn't like the way they fit. So I tried to wear them a couple times and then just decided that 
I was going to go ahead and miss them. So that's, for me, one of the benefits of thrifting so much is I find clothes for myself, for my husband, for my kids. And we pretty much all wear, I would say four of us wear thrifted clothes 100% of the time. <laughs> Uh, clothes and shoes even. And uh, shoes I usually end up buying on eBay, but just because it's harder to find like the exact size you need. Anyway, I have, my husband really likes, he likes to shop. So, and then I have um, one of my daughters is a, a shopper as well. So, did I tell you what my profit is on that? $16.87. Did I tell you what they sold for? I don't think I said anything yet. <laughs> they sold for $16 plus shipping. So $28.50. I did end up making some money on the shipping. Uh, five days, $16.87. Not bad for a pair of jeans that would have been for me. This is just a priority Tyvek tailor. This sold also very quickly. So a couple of really quick sales, which is always nice. Um, this is a scarf. I don't know how to. I wrote Ascot in the in the listing. I don't know if that's actually true, but yeah, so it's little, right? It's little. It's just like a tuck in your shirt kind of scarf. It has buttons here. So this is the label on it. Superba doublet zephyr wool. I probably didn't say any of those words right. <laughs> I said wool right. I know that. Uh, so it's just little gray. I don't know, kind of ascot style scarf. I found it at a thrift store just recently. I ran in like right before they closed as I, I dropped off a daughter at like an extracurricular thing and ran in. I was trying to find a couple things to sell and found this. They had it priced at I think a dollar, but I ended up having a coupon, so I said that for my cost of goods that this was free because I didn't actually pay for it because uh, I used uh, my coupon. Um, so I think I had bought like 20, I think the total was like $26 and I ended up having a $20 off coupon, so I paid $6 for everything, so I put the other cost of goods on the like shirts and stuff. Anyway, uh, that was a lot of information for no really good reason, but uh, the Superba wool uh, scarves have an average sale price of $10 and a $10.50 and a 22% sell through rate. And mine sold for $14. Uh, plus shipping, so a total of $19.45. It sold in five days, and my profit is $12.39. So I am super pleased with that. I certainly don't mind $1 into, you know, $12 in not very long. So, what's I gonna say about that? Anything else? I don't think so. This is also going in another um, recycled mailer, which I'm like trying to hide the <laughs> labels and not doing a super great job of it. Um, anyway, what else was I, I was gonna say something. I don't remember what it was. Oh. I wrap all my stuff in, um, all my items in tissue paper and put a little thank you sticker and that's it. <laughs> I buy those things off of Amazon. Okay, this is a jacket, a little zip up, hooded, kind of performance, um, stretchy, you know, but the brand is Aloe Yoga. And it's cool fit, which reminds me of like, you know, like Nike dry fit is what I'm kind of guessing is what this is. Mom, when you get your grocery order, can you please um, order a tank top? Uh, I don't know if I can order a tank top from the grocery store, but I will see about getting one at a thrift store. Um, 
Okay, this one has an interesting story. If I'm not, Mom, yes. When you go to the store, can you put me a Lego set? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. okay. Andrew! <laughs> no, I'm not buying him a Lego set. <laughs> he asks for a Lego set every day. Okay, um, so this aloe jacket I bought at a garage sale a long time ago. Like summer of 2022 so i've been going through all my inventory and purging it and when i came across this because i was taking out pretty much everything that sold or that i bought in 2022 except for a few things and this was one of the few things i was looking at it and i was like i don't understand why this hasn't sold i think i had it listed for like 30 dollars. it wasn't anything outrageous but i went through i checked comps again and I think when I checked them, it felt like they were higher. I don't know. I don't remember if I checked it on eBay or on Terapeak, but Terapeak tells me that aloe jackets like this have a 12% sell-through rate, an average sale price of $19 and 34 cents. So anyway, I went ahead and I delisted it and I relisted it. And when I did that, it sold in a like two days, I think. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I relisted it for $25. They Somebody sent me an offer this morning for $20. I took it. They paid. Done. Uh, so $20 plus shipping. They actually paid a lot in shipping. Uh, $33.60 was their total. I don't know. I feel like I'm struggling with shipping. I had changed everything so that there was an option between Ground Advantage and, um, and Priority on all my items. But I got a message this morning again asking me to like do something about my shipping. So I know the shipping costs have changed in the past few weeks, past couple weeks. I don't know. I don't know how to look into it exactly because I don't know. I ha I use calculated shipping on everything, but I don't know how to, I can't see what they're charging other people until they've already paid. Does that make sense? I don't know how to look into it. And I don't feel confident enough to do a flat rate shipping on things. And I will not do free shipping. Um, okay. I paid $5 at a garage sale. My profit is $15.96. After That's after, when I say my profit, it's fees, shipping, and my cost of goods. I am using a flat rate envelope that did save me a little bit of money on shipping. But it wasn't much. It saved me like a dollar. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So my total profit, $58.70 for these four items, which is, you know, not terrible. None of those items were horrible, but none of them were great either. And it's just been, it's been slow. My, my goal is 70, $67. Ugh, I'll get there. Um, my goal is $67 a day for $2,000 a month. I'm in the process of changing that goal. Uh, but I don't exactly know how to do that. It feels like I'm listing more and selling less at this point. So there's that. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I've got. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below. Tell me how your sales have been. Is it slow for you too? If it is, I'm so sorry. I hope things pick up for you. I hope things pick up for me. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you soon.